So hello guys, this will be another video from Androidica. This will be a review video of the new Hangouts application that promises SMS and MMS integration and all your Hangout chats or the Gtalk chats all into a sim single application. Now this application was launched with the Android KitKat 4.4 with the Nexus 5 and we extracted it from the Nexus 5 and it's now running on the Samsung Galaxy Mini. So you know this shows up all the SMSs and the, your Google Talk or the Hangout chats all in the same place. So this is an SMS, it's indicated by a small SMS written over there and that's a non-SMS so it's a Google or a Hangout chat. So let's open up a conversation, say that one. So these are the incoming chats, I have not sent anything to this thread, you know. I can just open up and type a message and send, you can see I sent an SMS. Let's see a conversation where I have sent something. So there you go. I have, this shows the time and send and is sent by SMS. And the tick shows that it is delivered. Right. So let's open up a Hangouts chat. So that's a Hangout chat. There you go. It will show the last scene where the person I was chatting with has last seen my messages. So she has seen up till this much. Over here, here you have your moods and stuff, your smileys your recent smileys etc you can attach your location and photos as per the previous hangouts app so you swipe and you head over to the last chat that you have been having now you can click on the plus and okay so if you show start a new hangout you can type a name email address or number or even start a chat with a circle so these are the green buttons that are the Google Talk or the Hangout contacts and with the SMS contacts will show up with a small SMS written inside the bubble. So you can just select any contact or you can so you can select more as you can see. Okay, so anyone else you can just click on anyone else over there and add more people to that conversation. So that's pretty cool. You can like a new feature of this Hangouts app would be the addition of set mood. So you can set mood and status updates that can be seen by all your Hangouts contacts. So there are plenty of moves over here as you can see like OK, Cool, Free, SOS and stuff. So you can set what you feel etc. You can reset your mood. Let's go back and you can snooze notifications say like you have your exam tomorrow so you don't want to get disturbed by any SMS or any Google chat notification so you can snooze notifications for 1 hour, 2 hours, 4 hours, 24 hours and up till 3 days so let's say you can archive hangouts you know you can just swipe left or swipe right to archive and hangout ok I just switch. let's open it up again so it does lag a bit while opening up so there you go, it's opened up. So we can go to settings and you can switch off SMS integration by just unchecking this box, turn off SMSs. And then you have your not normal settings like notification, sound, vibrate, delete all messages and all you have with your old SMS applications. This would be your Hangouts or the actual Google Talk settings where you can share your status and stuff, set your mood, device, in call, you know, device will show in which device you are on, phone, tablet or a computer. Show when you have which device, a phone call or devices and stuff. So yes, you can send invites, you can go to about hangouts. And you can see the build version would be 2.0.12. And other stuff like that, that's not really important. But a drawback of this app would be, right now what I have seen is that if you get a new SMS over here in notification bar, you won't get the quick reply or you can just click on red to make it red like with the sms app default app in the jelly bean you can just click on quick reply and just type in a reply send and you don't you don't even have to open the sms app for sending a reply but now you have to if you have into hangouts integration on so that's a little drawback otherwise this app is really cool like sms this look really cool in this app it has the new conversation layout but I guess if you are a really busy person and use the quick reply feature a lot, I guess you would like to stick to the default message application in Jelly Bean as long as you are using the Jelly Bean as your default OS. 
in your Android device. So, thanks for watching. Like this video helps us a lot. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.